Welcome to Team YPWW, Lesson 7. I do not own the rights to this music. Today's topic is the wonder, the wonder of the word, authenticity, part 1. The lesson text is coming out of John chapter 1, verses 1 through 16, and Revelation chapter 22, verses 16 through 21. John chapter 1, verses 1 through 16. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighted every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John bare witness of him, and cried, saying, This was he of whom I spake. He that cometh after me is preferred before me, for he was before me, and of his fullness have all we received, and grace for grace. Revelation chapter 22, verses 16 through 21. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches, I am the root and the offspring of David, and the bright and morning star. And the spirit and the bride say, Come, and let him that heareth say, Come, and let him that is a thirst come, and whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. The memory verse for today's lesson. I will read the King James Version first and then the New International Version of John chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The New International Version. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The key for today's lesson. The Word of God is authentic. authentic and reliable today's focus the origin of the word of god examined let's begin with the vocabulary review for our next four lessons the word wonder means amazing astonishing standing in awe and being stunned a derivative of the word wonder is the word wonderful that means inspiring delight pleasure marvelous and extremely good Let's define another word, authenticity. This word means the quality of being authentic, undisputed, origin, genuine, legitimate, valid, reliable, bona fide, lawful, and legal. These adjectives describe the value of the word of God to all believers. The Bible is more than just a good Christian book. It's more than just another good read. It is the amazing word of God. 
some scholars have described the Word of God as being multidimensional, meaning that it gives us an accurate synopsis of events that occurred during biblical times in the first century that can be described in four dimensions, the actions of God, the actions of man, the actions of Jesus Christ, and the actions of the Holy Spirit. This same Word of God is applicable to our lives today in the 21st century in four dimensions. We learn how our actions and plans can be compared to the saints and aims in the Bible, pun intended. The Word of God began with God. He was the master developer who inspired over 40 various authors of the Bible to write its chapters and divisions per his directives. The Holy Ghost, in partnership with the will of God, inspired the biblical writers as well. God worked through everyday people to write what we accept as the Bible. The Word of God has several descriptive names. The popular listing of these names are the Bible, the Scriptures, the Holy Scriptures, the Word of the Lord, the Oracles of God, the Law, the Voice of God, the Book of the Law, the Book of the Prophets, and the Covenant. Throughout the preceding lessons of this quarter, we will use some these descriptive names of the Word of God interchangeably when they are referenced in our lesson scriptures. The Word of God also describes itself as the sincere milk of the Word, solid food, milk, water, honey, gold, the sword of the Lord, an anchor, a mirror, a lamp and light unto our feet, and a light shining into the darkness. These different symbols give us a greater insight of the value and character of the Word of God. The Bible is the best-selling book of all times. It was written over a period of time that spans over 1,400 years. It has 66 separate books, 1,189 chapters, hundreds and thousands of words. In summary, the Word of God shares one compelling message addressed to you teen listeners and all mankind. This message is that God loves the whole wide world. From his creation of human beings, as described in the book of Genesis, to the last chapter of Revelations, where God welcomes anyone to take the water of life freely. And that's Revelation chapter 22, verse 17. The Bible proves God's love for mankind. God is familiar with concerned about and intimately involved in the life of people. He sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross of Calvary for a propitiation of sins of all people. This act shows the re irrefutable love God in action. This sacrifice for our sins allows anyone to be saved through their simple faith in Jesus' work. John chapter 3 verse 16 says it best. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. This thematic truth and propensity of God can be found throughout the Bible. However, this message can be muffled by the large amounts of other information contained in the Word of God. That is why, as students of the Word of God, we must not allow the tragedies we read about in the Word of God to overshadow its prevailing message. God is love, and He loves mankind. In direct parallel to our own lives, we must not allow the tragedies and difficult seasons we have to go through to derail us completely. The Word of God ensures us that God is a plan of victory and success for all believers. When needed, God can provide a way out of trouble for you teen listeners. Through the helping hands of good people, God is a plan designed uniquely to bless us exclusively. We are advised in the word to pray to know this, this plan and then expect it. The word of God has several descriptive names that are used interchangeably throughout the Bible. As students of the Word of God, we should be familiar with these names. 
Although filled with a lot of descriptive details in the stories of the Bible, the primary message of the Word of God is about God's love for us. From Genesis to Revelation, this theme of love is found and can be paralleled to our lives today, especially when we face difficult times. The love of God that we learn about assures us that He will provide help for us when needed. The questions for today's lesson, and you can search the scriptures on your own. Number one, why should we be familiar with the descriptive names of the Word of God? And number two, in Psalms 119, verse 105, David declared, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. What does this scripture mean in comparison with our lesson today? What is the difference of illumination for your feet and illumination for your path? The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.